Here at the animal shelter in Pasadena, we have eight animal control officer positions. They go out every day, Monday through Friday, and they're on call on the weekends and after hours. They come in, they have a morning meeting. The lead animal control officer chairs that meeting and goes over ordinances, laws, certain protocols. There is some concerns that uh, the police officers have, uh, Chief Jackson. After that meeting, then they hit the road, they hit the streets and get in their trucks and respond to calls that come into us via our dispatcher position. Our officers are trained professionals. Go ahead. They're certified by the state of Texas as animal control officers and they have to keep up with 30 hours of continuing education every three years or they lose that certification. Ten four. Try to prioritize our calls, especially with the heat that we have. For instance, right now we're gonna go over off of Fresa, pick up a dog from a business. I don't know if the dog is inside or outside. So just in case it is outside, we'll go ahead and go pick it up so it won't get overheated. They just really care. We all care here uh, about these animals. We care about their health, their safety. They come in injured, unfortunately abused. Uh, we do what we can to help them. We take them to a vet if we need to. We try to find their owners first. That's our one of our chief objectives when an animal comes into us. Hence the very real importance of folks getting their pets microchipped. We can look that up, and if that stray animal we've just taken in has an owner in our system, we can go right to the house. It never has to come to the shelter. That saves the city money and saves the pet owner some grief because they can't find their pet for any length of time. Now we'll enter the animal into our computer system. A little male, about four months old. Yeah, now if, if an owner is looking for this puppy that we just picked up, they can actually go to our website and see a brief description right now. They can go in and, and see the area of where we picked it up, the breed and approximate age. It may or may not be theirs. They can go into the shelter and, and check and see. In calendar year 2014, my officers responded to over 11,000 calls for service in the city of Pasadena. And this runs the gamut from, uh, please help me get my kitten out of a drain, to there's a dangerous dog, I can't get out my front door. It can be something real simple to discuss and educating uh, the owners, you know, about their dogs, city ordinance and stuff like that. But occasionally uh, we do get those calls where we have a dog running loose, um, chasing after people, uh, and therefore we are called upon to go take care of the situation. And there's a pit bull running loose, has a, a long strap tied to a chain, has a padlock to its collar, running loose into the street, chasing after people. I've been out there before, I've seen the area, and I know the dog has plenty to run around. We really didn't have a, a way to contain the dog, especially uh, if it's not tied down. I'm getting in close thinking I can get the dog right here. The dog moves in, lunges at me. Again, I have a catch pole. I use that to deflect the dog away. Again, he uses his catch pole to deflect the dog away so he doesn't get bit because the dog's very aggressive. It does come charging at him and it did charge at me the first time around. I see that there's a pole, a carport. Come I put the chain way, around that and then I go ahead and walk towards the dog and at the same time it's bringing the dog towards me. And we kind of pinch the dog in so he doesn't have really much room to move around. The dog is now loaded up into the truck and that's the end of the call on that. Many of those come in over the telephone, some via the mayor's action line. Some folks walk into the front door here and say, look, I need some help or my neighbor needs some help. This is the situation and we respond to those. Or for that matter, if someone meets us on the street in the neighborhood and says, would you please check into this? The officers have computers in their trucks and they can enter their own activity in the truck. One of the main reasons why we pick up animals because they are running stray and they're unowned. 
Uh, they are causing property damage. People should be able to live in their apartment and open the windows and, and relax on their couch without having a foul odor come into their, their property. So uh, a lot of these animals are running loose. Waste issue is a big problem. The transferring of diseases is, is a major issue. Uh, they're running around unvaccinated as well. Uh, they are born out in the wild. Uh, and you know, if we can trap them and get them back to the shelter and evaluate them, get them evaluated and see if we can adopt them out to a loving home, that'd be awesome. Uh, and that's what we're doing. Often animals who are strays and live on the streets get various diseases, different kinds of mange, ringworm, things that are transmittable to humans. So the officers have to be very careful how they handle these animals. It's not just the physically dangerous, it's sometimes the sickness dangerous that we have to contend with. Over time and through training, the officers learn tactics for dealing with injured or aggressive or sick animals. Here's a good point. They share these ideas with each other. They go to conferences annually and find out new techniques there as well. System. And it, as you see, it's a very healthy uh, possum. So what I'll do is go ahead and release it back out in the wild. Hey, buddy. Open this back door. As you see, he already knows where he wants to go. You'll tap the back here, sit still, and then shake this, shake this thing and he'll shoot out. Just like that. So at the end of the day, the city of Pasadena's animal control officers do everything they can to make sure that the citizens here have a safer, healthier, cleaner, more enjoyable city for themselves and for their pets.